question eight, A, B, C, D, E is a pentagon. Here it is, five sided shape. Angle B, C, D, B, C, D. So this one here is twice the size of angle A, B, C, A, B, C, this one here. Work out the size of angle B, C, D. This one, you must show all your workings. There's a few different ways of going about this. The way I like to go about these type of questions is to firstly work out the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon. So what do all these five angles add up to? And you could just learn all the possible um, totals, but the easiest way is to know a good method. So you pick a corner, I've picked corner D here, and you join it to as many corners as possible to make triangles. You can see here now every angle has been included. I can't make a triangle with corner E or corner C, but I can make three triangles out of this five-sided shape. So the total angles in the pentagon is three lots of 180. Now showing this process picks you up the first mark. Getting to the number 540, because that's what three 180s are, has picked you up the second mark. Now, we know that 90, because that's what the little square means, plus 115, plus 125, plus the two more angles is 540. Don't forget you can use your calculator here, and these numbers add up to 330. So 330 plus the two missing angles is 540, which means the missing angle is 210. This process picks me up my third mark. So I now know that this angle and this one have to add up to 210. I know from the question that angle BCD, BCD this one, is double the size of angle ABC, this one here. So if I call this angle X, and this is going to be double, that's going to be 2X. So I'm left with an equation, 2X plus X is 210. And I have my fourth mark. So 3x is 210, and x is 70, dividing 210 by 3. We haven't quite finished the question yet. If x is 70, we have to work out the size of angle BCD, which is this one here, and that's 2x, 270s two are 140 degrees, and you have your fifth mark.